What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin Bo 202 and welcome to 202 Tuesdays. For today's episode, we are reviewing Timmy Turner by Designer. This song was recorded in 2016. It was produced by Mike Dean, and I'm telling you, the instrumental in the song is so insane. Designer posted a video of early footage of the song Timmy Turner with him and producer Mike Dean doing the song. The original instrumental was definitely different, but I prefer the final release. They just did such a good job together on the song. It is the first single for the album The Life of Designer. The title obviously comes from Kanye West's album, the Life of Pablo. As you know, Designer was signed to Good Music, which is Kanye West's record label. And Kanye West definitely has a lot of influence to Designer's career. Timmy Turner's peak position on the US Billboard Hot 100 is number 34. Alright, I want to give you guys my overall thoughts of the song. After Designer got real big with Panda, he had to come up with something else. And what that track was, was Timmy Turner. Timmy Turner was originally a freestyle used for Double XL, and it was later incorporated into being a song. Mike Dean took care of the beat, and Designer laid down a really dark flow. It references the character Timmy Turner from the show The Fairly Odd Parents, a cartoon from Nickelodeon, and I imagine he grew up watching that show, as did I. The song is actually kind of dark. It's about Timmy Turner wishing for a gun to kill everybody. Now, killing everybody can be in music, not just literally shooting everybody, but take it how you will. And he knows that he has a spot in hell. You really gotta listen to the lyrics. Now, some of you guys might be like, Listen to the lyrics. How the hell do you understand them? I kind of understand them. It's a little tough. I actually had to pull up the lyrics from Genius and read it along with the song. And then I was like, oh, okay. So now I kind of get the point and what he's trying to say. So, I mean, if you can't understand the lyrics, I recommend doing that. But the song itself is really nice. This song wasn't as big as Panda. And I honestly don't think Designer will ever have a song bigger than Panda. Now, I could be wrong, but that song was just so huge. But Timmy Turner was definitely an awesome follow-up. Then later, Kanye West remixed the song. And he dropped a pretty awesome verse on it. On the remix, the instrumental was switched up a little bit and Designer only does the chorus on the remix, he does not have any verses on it. But with the original song, I really like how it transitioned at the end. It went from being this super dark song about a guy that's wishing to kill everybody in the game, and then it kind of ends with the inspirational note when the beat switches up. So me, I really did enjoy the song, and for that reason, I will buy Designer's album, The Life of Designer, when it drops. And I don't know. I kind of hope he stays around because this guy could be on so many different songs with so many different artists just to give it a whole new feel because Designer is definitely kind of unique. Yes, he does resemble Future, but he has his own little way, I want to say. It's like, a, it's like Future, but with a different kick. It's hard to explain, but all right, guys, that's it for 202 Tuesdays. I'm Kevin Bo 202 I hope you enjoyed the video, and peace out, guys.